So there's about 15 people lined up at the registration desk. So we can either start without them or we can sort of point at them when they walk in. I sent, I sent that email. He said, that photograph? Mm. Sorry, there's a couple of, there are two, I run two conferences. This conference this week and next week is BSG Can. And there's a little bit of um, overlap between the two conferences. Not necessarily between individuals that attend, but people at one conference that know people at the other conference. So I took pictures, a photo last night of two people from this conference and sent it to someone who was going to be at the conference next week. He said, where did you meet them? How do you know them? They work 10 meters down the hall from me. How do you know them? And I said, PG Khan. And he said, ah. And so he said, listen, you have to take them out beaver tail hunting. And if you've never been to Ottawa before, and this is mostly an Eastern Canada thing, sorry, Eastern Ontario thing, beaver tails are a delicacy. You can buy them down on the market. They come about that big, and they're coated with really yummy things like chocolate or Nutella or sugar and cinnamon or, my favorite, apple pie filling. Now, you can order one all for yourself if you want, but it's like a meal. So what I do is I get one, cut it in half, and share it with someone else. And they will cut it for you. They will cut them up for you before they're served. But they're delicious, and I'm pretty sure they're vegetarian. They're not actually tails of beaver. They're just called beaver tails. I think it's more that PG Con is a sponsor of beaver tails. Who's here for the first time? Okay, good. Now, I'm going to ask for volunteers from those who have been here before. Those people that all put their hands up have never been to PGCon before, so they might have questions. And if you've been here before and would like to, are, are willing to be asked questions, whether or not you can answer them, put up your hands, please, and say, hey, listen, come and ask me if you have any questions. Okay, that's, okay, come on. Come on. You're not shy people. So those people, way up, way up, hold them up. All the new people, if you, if you have questions, ask those people. They're, will, they're willing to be asked questions. Okay, thank you. I'm going to, if you don't know the answers, that's okay. I'm going to go into the hallway and yell at people. Did you hear that? Right. Who flew in from the southern hemisphere? No one from down below the equator? Who flew in from Asia? Come on, there's some people that flew in from Asia, yeah. And the re okay, how many from the US? Oh, that's more than I thought. How many from Canada? Okay. How many from... What? No. Uh, Europe. There's a lot from Europe. Yep. Okay. So, I believe this is our 12th year. Someone will correct me if I'm wrong, because you can look at the website and see all the previous years. Uh, I think it's important to maintain history on a website especially when it comes to conferences, mostly because you always want to go back and look at old papers sometimes, very good sources of reference. And I find it terrible that some websites just 
update themselves in entirety and they don't have a slash year or a year dot or something. And we, we try and keep all the history. So I know some of you have never been to PGCOM before, but who's never been to Ottawa before? All right. You might have seen a canal uh, just over there. It's a World Heritage Site. It was built shortly after the War of 1812 because the Brits didn't trust the Yanks. And they're, the only way into the center of the country is up the St. Lawrence. So in order to avoid that very narrow part of the St. Lawrence around the Thousand Islands, they started coming up the Ottawa River here. And then they decided to build 100 and, is it 112 kilometers? 112 kilometers. No steam shovels, entirely by hand, a lot by the Irish, and a lot died from malaria. So, and now it's a World Heritage Site. It's beautiful. All right. I have notes here that ask how many people have been to all seven PG cons? I wrote that a long time ago. <laughs> so, who's been to all PG cons? Every single one. Wow. Okay. How many have only missed one or two? So if you've been to one of these sessions before, it always happens the same way. I sort of try and give an introduction to the conference, what goes on, important things to note about what goes on tomorrow night and tonight, but very most importantly, we have to thank the sponsors. If, if you go back and look at previous conferences, you'll see that the number of sponsors has increased, and that increase helps a lot. Uh, the first couple of conferences I ran, everyone went to the pub for lunch. Why? Because we had no money. Um, we couldn't afford to, to help any speakers get here who couldn't get here on their own. We couldn't afford to house anyone, but it's all sponsors that let us do that. So in this case, oh yeah, please, continue that, continue that. I heard, oh yeah. Um, in this case, I'd like to thank Salesforce and Fujitsu. They're two of our biggest sponsors, and they've been here many, many years. So as with all the sponsors, if you have day-to-day -day contact with them, or even if it's not every day, please tell them that you know that they've sponsored PB, PGCon and extend my thanks and your thanks to them. Uh, AWS, Amazon Web Service, are, are hosting the social tonight. We'll tell you more about that later. Microsoft are sponsoring. They have stickers out front, and they'll, they'll be in the hallway tomorrow. Oh, come on. Arr. NTT is sponsored for many years. I don't know when they first sponsored, but they've been around for quite a while. And Crunchy are sponsoring the uh, video that we'll have uh, available after the talks. Citus Data is on your lanyards. Enterprise DB will be on around the T-shirts. I think, yeah, they're the T-shirt sponsor. <laughs> SRR, SRA OSS is not the only uh, sponsor from, from Japan. Um, NTT, uh, yes. Uh, Second Quadrant are back again. Postgres experts are back again, and Pivotal is here this year. Thank you very much. 12 Apollos, JetBrains have the big TV outside, and Percona are here as well. Thank you. TransferWise and Data Egret, some new, new names that are here again this year. Here again this year, that's terrible. Sorry. But thank you. I've only had half my four espressos. So. Avito, best place, and Omni TI, who's been here many years. Thank you. <laughs> so although I get the glamorous job of standing in front of you and talking like this, I don't do it all by myself. I only do like a small portion of it. Um, Adam Thompson takes care of a lot of the website and does a lot of the hotel booking. He actually talks to the hotels and gets the discounts. and. Um, he, he, who's staying at Lee Suites this year? Do you find the Wi-Fi better than last year? <coughs> Apparently they upgraded it over, over the winter. And we had been telling people not to stay there and they noticed that on Twitter and said, oh, wait, 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 we upgraded. I don't know if there's a correlation between them. But anyway, um, thanks to Adam. Uh, 
Our registration desk is maintained by Stacy and Catherine. Please thank them when you see them. And again, right now. So, those of you that have already <clears throat> been recruited today or yesterday for carrying boxes, I thank you very much. That stops me from breaking into a sweat and standing up here in front of you later. Feedback is important. This is from 2015. Don't feedback on that one. But at each talk that you go to, you can go and find it in the schedule and give, give feedback there. The speaker that you're listening to can go in later and see what you have to say, but they don't know who said it. So be accurate, but nice. The closing session. Those of you who have never been to PGCon have never seen a closing session like PGCon's closing session. Uh, the chaos that started many years ago sort of developed after someone left their coat behind. And the coat was held up during the charity auction and people started bidding on it. <laughs> Hello. I did not know this was coming. Um, so they were bidding on the coat, and it was Dennis, wasn't it? Dennis Lucier. He wound up bidding how much for his own jacket? $250 or something like that? <laughs> so the thing is, if you lose something, it'll be turned into the registration desk, and you will be able to get it back at the charity auction. <laughs> and. Um, the money goes to the Ottawa Mission. If you're walking downtown, the Ottawa Mission is on your right, just on Nicholas Street. And um, all the money goes there. They help a lot with um, homelessness and uh, drug addiction and al alcoholism. They're very good. I'm very curious about this. Very indeed. <laughs> so don't lose anything. But if you do find something, turn it in at the registration desk and then watch the benefits after. Okay. Uh, bring cash. Uh, I say cash because it's easier for us, but we will take uh, credit cards and PayPal through the website. But that means that the, the, the charity gets less because our go-between has to take a cut of that. This is a big event tonight at the Red Lion. Those of you that went last night to pick up your registration packs, good on you, because now you know exactly where to go. Tonight, it'll be again at the Red Lion, which is 47 Clarence. There'll be a buffet meal. Um, don't worry. If you have a strict diet, it should be fine. It's on the website. Details there. There are vegan options. There's vegetarian options. And there's stuff for carnivores. More importantly, that last item. <laughs> Your first two drinks are free. You'll get tickets when you arrive. You can use them for pretty much anything in there. Uh, soft drinks are free, butter, tea, and coffee, all provided. Any questions about that? So we have the, the, work, the works in progress session is tonight, right? Lightning talks. Sorry, wrong conference. Lightning talks are tonight. And immediately after that, we'll head over. Uh, there's no rush. They sort of know when we're coming and stuff like that. How, how many said they're going tonight? OK. That's good. There'll be enough food. OK. Uh, we've already covered this. We covered this before. Who didn't hear me talk about this? If you're new to PGCon and you have questions, there are people who volunteered to, to answer questions because they've been here before. Who are those people again? Put up your hands. OK. So if, you have, if you're new and you've never been to PGCon before, you can ask those people anything. Lunch at noon, snacks later on, and uh, tomorrow morning from 9.30. Don't come here the same time tomorrow because the talks don't start tomorrow until 10 a.m. That's because there's a social tonight. So do you have any questions? <laughs> Does anyone have any questions? This is impressive. I know what I have to do. I have to take a picture of the shoes, because later on. <laughs> All right, let's go over here, and people can take photos. Are, are you
Th this Slonik? No, I don't think we can auction this Slonik off. Not at all. That's creepy. <laughs> Your tusk in my ear is sort of, you know, very creepy. Yeah. <laughs> if I'd known, I would have shaved this morning. So, does anyone have any talks about PGCon, about Ottawa, about how to get to the airport, anything like that? Anyone have a good story about trying to get through the border on the way in? Yes, actually. Okay, um, Jonathan. I had an elevator pitch about what Postgres was and why it's better than other database solutions. Did they actually ask you yes. why it was better? So, and, I, and I started trying to break down some of the features, but I also want to get through the border. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure this is now officially recorded on the tape somewhere, and now uh, it's in the Government of Canada archives. You had a great story? Uh, it's no? a good story. I, I got to ask a number of interesting questions at the border as well, but my story is not nearly as good as, as Jonathan's, I think. Mm. <laughs> but they were, they were definitely interrogating me about it. The first thing I, I got asked was, did, they, did I bring any, you know, what, what did I bring that wasn't closed? Mm -hmm. So it's like, well, I brought laptops, I brought, I, I brought alcohol too. They didn't seem to be too concerned about the alcohol though. No. Now, the next question was if I brought any personal protection, by which he had to clarify he meant firearms. <laughs> <laughs> which was fair, that was a fair question to ask. Yes, yes, didn't. yes. Apparently that's an issue. Uh, th there, there's an old joke about a, about a Canadian visiting America and uh, being questioned at the border and, and one of the questions was, do you have any firearms? Uh, and he said, why, why, no sir, of course not. And he said, well here, take mine, you need it. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah, sorry. Um, um, anything else? Because I, I, I've got you till 10. Oh, 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 wait, I can repeat for these people that this is. <laughs> no, you, you have no good behavior whatsoever. <laughs> bad behavior is discouraged. Do it in private. <laughs> yeah. um, does anyone want to know who this is? Does anyone know who this is? <laughs> Magnus, Magnus knows who it is. Notice that all the Europeans know who it is. It's Slonic. Hey, I know who it is. <laughs> you spend enough time in Europe. <laughs> I don't get to go to enough conferences. I get to go to two a year. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's not so hard. Me, anyway. Yeah. Well, you're my favorite. <laughs> Um, so, uh, who's hanging around Sunday or Monday to do tourist type things? Because there's all kinds of things just within Ottawa. Um, I recommend going up and, and taking a tour of Parliament. It's all free. You just have to get a ticket. The tickets are free. Um, you get to go th throughout the main uh, block and up into the tower. It's beautiful. Um, there's. I don't know. It is. Okay, it is it is open this year. I have a recommendation for that. Go get the ticket to the museum because they run out of tickets a little bit longer. I've yep. been trying to find so far two years to the other one. So go go early. They, they open at nine uh, at the building opposite of the park. Yes. Yeah. Right behind the Terry Fox statue. Yeah. So if you don't know who Terry Fox is, look up Terry Fox. He's very inspirational. Um, any other comments or questions? Because for the people listening to the audio of this, there's a lot of chortling going on about Slonik over in the corner. And Slonik appears to be a seven foot tall, what color exactly? Bluish, dark blue? Postgres blue. Postgres blue <laughs> elephant. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that's Postgres blue. Your color blindness is as good as mine. <laughs> okay. Um, if there's nothing else, we'll just abandon you to the talks. 
enjoy it. And if you have any issues, uh, bring, bring it up to the registration desk and we'll try and get it sorted out as soon as we can. Thank you very much. Thank you.